Wow, they come so close. Of course, the woodpecker shows up just when I leave. <laughs> oh, I had an amazing morning. And now it's time to go up to photograph red kites. Just arrived here at the, this is the photography hide right here. As you can see, basically right across is the field where we're gonna be feeding the kites roughly an hour or so. And there's another hide up here, and this is where, this is the big hide, and it's not actually that far away either. There are, oh my God, there's a lot. There's a kite right above me. I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> All right, Jesus, look at that. Those are all red kites. That is incredible. There's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's 19 red kites flying up, circling above here now, just waiting to get food. This is incredible. 20, that one there. Amazing. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna get in the hide. Try and shoot some footage. Um, I just wanna make the most of this while I'm here. That's incredible. So, as most of you know, I shoot with the Canon 7D Mark II, and I have a 100-400 lens. Um, but the field is good. 30, 40 meters away where they're gonna feed them. So I might have to use my extender, which can be a little bit tricky with birds in flight. Uh, tricky with the autofocus, and I might lose a little bit of sharpness as well. So it'll be a good test though. So I'm gonna do a little bit of both. I'll try first use, without using it, but it might be that. I just want that extra reach, you know? Um, so let's just get on with that. Now the red kites almost went extinct in the UK um, quite a few years ago. Um, there was only a surviving population in Wales, but they weren't doing too well either. So they didn't think they was going to spread um, back to Scotland because they went extinct to Scotland and England. And they didn't think the Welsh population was good, big enough and they didn't think there was good enough habitat around. Um, plus there was a lot of egg collection as well, illegal egg stealing at that time. So they just didn't think that they were going to you know, repopulate after that. So that's why they did reintroduction programs starting in the 80s. Um, so they got, I think they got birds from, they started from Sweden, Spain, I think all afterwards they got some from Germany as well. And they have several places in the UK where they've let out these populations. And there's also some of these places that are here for feeding them. So just to help them out a little bit. But they don't need that much these days, but they're doing quite well. And they're starting to spread about a bit again. Um, but of course over winter and stuff, this really helps, you know, just having a place that they know they're going to get food. Um, it's just going to help population just kind of keep going up. And it's doing a lot better now. I think there's something like 1,600 pairs in the UK now. Um, and they were quite low. Wow. They were just going at each other. I'm going to have to try and photograph it. Alright, definitely going to put on the machine gun here. Get a little bit more shots in. I get my exposure right. This is the photography right here. And there's three windows. There's room enough for three people here. Very nice. And you got these high bar chairs here that you sit on. And the field they're going to feed them on right across from here. And there's a woodland behind there. So when they come down low enough, that means that oh, my background will be a darker woodland, which I really want. The sky isn't always the nicest background, so I really want them to come lower. 
Um. Alright, I'll put the extender on. Because with the extender I can only use the middle one uh, point, but that's what I would use anyways. Because um, I want I just want that single one, that's the strongest one to pick it up with as well. Oh wow, I just missed I just missed two two of them going at it. So yeah, I want to keep my shutter speed quite high because they, they might start fighting in the air. So it's really the kind of image that I'd, I'd love to get. Absolutely incredible. I didn't even count how many there were. There's even a heron sneaking up trying to take some food. <laughs> The main feeding spectacle is over. That was absolutely incredible. I, I didn't even try to count, because um, I counted 20 of them before I started. Um, and there was, there was way more than that. I'd say between 30 and 40. Um, it almost felt like more, but I, I can't really be sure. It was uh, chaotic and I, several times I would shoot so fast that my memory card just wasn't fast enough and I, my, <clears throat> my camera would kind of stall as it saves the images, which was a shame, but <laughs> um, there was just, I was just a little bit trigger happy. <laughs> it's a proper sp spray and pray uh, method. And that's kind of what you have to do here because everything is so fast. Obviously, you're going to wait you don't take photos of absolutely everything. Try and kind of, you know, some of the shots just aren't going to look good. But sometimes you have to, you have to try just to see, because like I'm not used to this setup, and I could see after a while what kind of images were working. I did every now and then. I would look down when I when I had a little bit of time. I would look at my images, and now that I've been quiet, I've looked over them, and I can see right away which one stands out. And some of them I absolutely love. And I think some of them with just white sky even worked. I mean, there's obviously the one where they kind of grapple each other. That was really cool. I don't know if I nailed a shot of that, but that was amazing and I would like to get one. Uh, there were some other ones where I would have one bird sharp, but then some of the other ones would be out of focus with a white background. I quite like that. Um, but obviously, you know, the best images, I think, was when I would get the woodland in the back, and especially some of the more char charismatic woodland here, because there's, there's some larch that's kind of turning orangey, 
There's also woodland over there that's almost lost all its leaves. It's got some yellow leaves left, but you can kind of see through it and you can see the kind of browny leaves on the ground. So it leaves for quite a, quite a cool background. So I was trying mostly to get that in my images and even zooming back a little bit, taking images of um, kites that were further away um, because I wanted that in my image, in my frame. And then obviously there was the ones that came right up close with a little bit of woodland in the back up there. That, that was worked really nice, Just that sharp eye, so important. And I took my extender off because I checked some of my images after I used it. And I'm really struggling getting proper sharp images of birds in flight. A little bit because the focus probably isn't that good. Um, I mean, I know it. I know it takes longer for it to, to focus, so that makes it hard to capture birds in flight. But I also, I'm not trusting it with um, with a fast moving subject with my Cana 7 D Mark II. So the main spectacle is kind of over. It's about 2:40, but it's not like I could just hang about until sunset. And sometimes they start circling a little bit, so. I'm gonna do that, never know, might get a nice sky. I, most of the kites are sitting in the trees in the back here. I can see them. And every now and then they'll come up, fly up, fly close. So I'm just gonna hang up and see if I can't get some more images. Um, but I really enjoyed this and there's no way that I would get these kind of images. So many kites in an area without going to a place like this. So I can't really recommend that enough. Um, and this is a great place, if you're on your way north in Scotland, stop by here. They have this red kite feeding station, where they have two hides for that. And they also started doing a woodland hide with red squirrels and woodland birds. So, perfect little place to stop by. So, I'll put a link in the description below so you can check out how to book that if you're, um, if you're passing through, if you're in the area. If you're new to the channel, my name is Espen, and this channel is all about wildlife photography. So. Um, Please do hit subscribe and hit that bell to be notified if you want to see more of these videos. See you next time.